Hey there, today I want to go ahead and show you how to blend multiple photographs into one photograph in Photoshop. Now this was 19 different shots I took over in the remote section of Utah in the desert. And I took this last winter. So I'm going to go through the process of how I did this. And to start off, I used two different programs. I used Lightroom and then Photoshop. So let's go to Lightroom first. So the first thing I did is I imported the 19 different photographs into Lightroom. And then I went through each individual shot and kind of retouched the lighting on them a little bit. So this first shot I wanted to do when I was taking this photograph is I want to try to capture all the stars in the background but yet keep the foreground all dark. Now to do this, I, took, I did this with 30 seconds, aperture 2.8, ISO 800. I wanted to try to get the ISO as low as I can get away with to keep the noise down. And I have my lens set at 13 millimeter. So a couple good tips. Number one, I had my camera on a tripod. I made sure my camera was not going to move because if the camera moved any little bit during this whole shoot process, it would have ruined the photograph. And then the third tip, have a remote set up. So all you're doing is hitting that trigger remote and uh, that way it's no chance of uh, shaking the camera. So once I got the background and I was happy with it, now I wanted to start light painting. So this first photograph, I set my camera at 15 seconds, aperture 10, and I had an ISO of 200. Once again, trying to get the ISO as low as I can get away with uh, to keep that noise to a minimum. And I, once again, I have my lens set at 13 millimeters, so I didn't touch that. I didn't want the camera to move one bit. So I hit my trigger. For 15 seconds, I went ahead and started painting with my light. And I kind of went back and forth on each one of these little spots. And then once 15 seconds up, this is kind of the result. Now what I did do in Lightroom, I did bump up the exposure a little bit and did some little pre-touching on it just to make it a little bit better. So once again, my next photograph, I kind of moved the light to a different area where I just hit the camera for 15 seconds again, did some light painting, and then so on and so forth with each photograph. So once I went ahead through every one of these photographs and fixed them up to where I liked it, I went ahead and made sure I had them all highlighted, went to File, Export, and then I wanted to make sure I choosed a folder. So I created a folder that was called light painting. I want to make sure I put all these photographs into one folder, which will make it really easy to take it into Photoshop. So once you do get all these pictures into photo Photoshop there, I want to show you what I did. So let me go to Photoshop. And I'm going to start from scratch here because I want you guys to see the process of how I did this. So now to get all those photographs, those 19 photographs back in, I'm going to go to File. We're going to come on down to where it says Scripts. And let's go to Load Files into Stack. So I'm going to click that. Now let me browse for that folder. i got to drag it over to this screen. i got two different screens going here. So let me find that folder real quick. And once again, you see my folder right here. It says light painting. So I'm going to go ahead and just highlight all of these. I'm going to click open. So now I'm going to see all my photograph files right here. And I'm going to hit OK. Now this should take about a minute or so. It's going to load all the photographs into Photoshop. So it should take about a minute or two. Okay, that didn't take too long. Uh, once again, it, here's all my photos on the right-hand side. So what I want to do, let me pull this over just a little bit. I'm going to click on the very top one. And right here where it says normal, I'm going to hit the drop down. And I'm going to come down to where it says lighten. And let me click that once. 
So what we're doing is we're blending the first photograph with the next photograph, and that's why you see in this. So let me go to the next one. I would click that one. Click Lighten again. And I'm going to keep repeating this process with each photograph, and you can just see this thing starting to come together. And it's pretty crazy the effects you could do when you're out night painting. This light painting is really a neat way to really spice up your photographs. And it does take a little bit of practice doing this. So I'm going to speed up the video just a little bit as I go through the process here. Okay, here's where the really cool part is. That first photograph I took with the stars in the background, this is where the cool effect actually comes in. So as you can see, it really gives it a neat looking effect just by having the whole background all lit up. Just by lightening all this photos up here. And then once you're done at this point, all you need to do is hit File, Export, or actually File, Save As. And you can just call this uh, Night Painting. And I'm going to make this a JPEG format so I can post it online. And you want to make sure you put it in where you want it on folder. So I think I might just save this one on the desktop. And I'll just hit save. And, and I always like to keep it as a large file at first. I can always resize it later. And I'm going to hit OK. So I just want to do a quick uh, tutorial on the tips. This is actually a real basic one for doing these kind of photographs. I'll have to make some future in-depth tutorials where I take you out in the field and go step by step on the approach and the kinds of flashlights I use for this kind of photograph. So anyways, I hope this uh, helped you out, kind of get your wheels turning on some ideas, and we'll catch you guys on the next video. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't, and you guys have yourself a really good day.